Today we're going to teach you how to tune your supercharged Nitro RC engine. Hey, it's Bob with RB Innovations. We're going to take you step by step through tuning a supercharged Nitro engine. We're going to start off by demonstrating on a 3.3 Revo chassis. This will also apply to any engine, any style chassis. Before we get started, I want to show you some of the basic adjustments on a standard carburetor. First thing I want to point out is the high speed needle jet. This is located right here. This is going to meter the amount of fuel going to the engine at top RPM. The next thing I want to show you is the low speed needle jet, and that's located right here. And that's going to adjust the fuel flow going to the engine at idle to mid throttle. Lastly, you might have to adjust your idle speed screw, and that's located right here on the carburetor body. And that's going to set your idle speed RPM of the engine. First thing you want to do is adjust your high speed and low speed needle valves on the carburetor back to the stock settings. We use that as the starting point. From there we want to start on the high speed needle jet. We're going to run the car around a few laps and warm it up first. Next thing we're going to do is adjust that high speed needle valve. We're going to turn that in one eighth of a turn at a time. We're going to turn it in clockwise. We're going to do another lap or two, check the performance, check the temperature, then we'll bring it back in for another adjustment. You want to keep repeating this until the performance does not increase. That would mean you've gone too far, too lean. In that case, you want to adjust it back one eighth of a turn to where it was running at its peak performance. The next adjustment we want to focus on is our low speed needle valve. This is going to adjust the fuel air mixture at idle up through mid throttle. Like the high speed needle valve, we only want to adjust it one eighth of a turn clockwise until you see a reduction in power on the low end. At that point, you want to go counterclockwise one eighth of a turn to go back to the peak setting. While you're making these adjustments, you might find yourself having to adjust the idle speed screw. If the engine RPM is too high, you want to adjust counterclockwise one eighth of a turn. If the idle speed is too low, you want to increase it or go one eighth of a turn clockwise. One other adjustment note, especially on the Traxxas products, Sometimes if the engine starts to bog, you want to adjust your shift point either sooner or later depending on the engine and pipe combination. Once you have the engine dialed in, you want to use a temperature gun to maintain the manufacturer's temperature specs. Now your supercharged engine is all tuned up and ready to go. Now if you installed a high flow exhaust, you'll probably notice there isn't enough back pressure to pump enough fuel to the engine. And that's where our auxiliary pressure system comes in. For more information, visit our website at rbinnovations.com, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, and make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.